Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sparkle English where I teach you how to improve your level of English. In today's lesson, I'm going to teach you about the difference between two and enough. At the end of this video, we will have a short quiz to test your knowledge. Let's get started. So what is the difference between two and enough? Two means more than what is needed. And enough means the necessary amount. So imagine this little boy wants to go on this roller coaster, but you must be this tall to ride the roller coaster. Tommy is too short to go on the roller coaster. He isn't tall enough to go on the roller coaster. This means he is shorter than he must be to go on the roller coaster. He doesn't have the necessary height to go on the roller coaster. So let's look at some more examples of two versus enough. We use two before an adjective or an adverb. For example, it's too hot to wear a sweater outside. I'm too tired to go to the party tonight. In both of these examples, too is a negative thing. It's not a good thing. It's too hot. I'm too tired to go to the party tonight. And we use too before the adjective. You're eating too fast. He was driving too slowly. Again, we use too before the adverb. With enough, we put enough after an adjective or adverb. For example, it isn't warm enough to go swimming. The child isn't tall enough to go on this roller coaster. You're not walking fast enough. Now let's look at to or enough with nouns. With nouns, we use too much plus an uncountable noun. For example, we ordered too much food for dinner. Food is an uncountable noun. So we say too much and not too many. He put too much sugar in my tea. This means we have more food than we need and that someone put more sugar than I wanted in my tea. With countable nouns, we use too many. There are too many people in this room. Now the room is crowded. He owns too many pets. This boy has more pets than he should because he doesn't have enough room in his house. With enough, we put enough before a noun, either uncountable nouns or countable nouns. There is enough food for everyone. That means we have a sufficient amount of food. If there are eight people at the party, we have enough food for eight people. If we have too much food, that means we ordered way more food than we should have for the party. Do you have enough eggs to make the cake? Do you have a sufficient amount of eggs to make the cake? There isn't enough time to stop for a coffee. That means we don't have a sufficient amount of time. I don't have enough money to buy the concert tickets. Imagine a concert ticket is $50 and I only have $40. I don't have enough money. I don't have the sufficient amount of money to buy the concert tickets. Okay, so now we're going to do a practice. You have to fill in the blanks with two or enough. Number one, you aren't old to drive yet. Number two, this jacket is expensive. Number three, I don't have money to buy it. Number four, 
I accidentally invited many people to my party tomorrow. Number five, I hope we have food for everyone. Number six, please don't drive fast. I don't feel very well. Number seven, do you have time to eat lunch before the meeting? And finally, number eight, James isn't tall to reach the top shelf. Okay, so now we're going to correct these together. Number one, you aren't old enough to drive yet. Remember, we put enough after an adjective. Number two, this jacket is too expensive. Remember that we put two before an adjective. Number three, I don't have enough money to buy it. Number four, I accidentally invited too many people to my party tomorrow. People is a countable noun, so we use too many before countable nouns. Number five, I hope we have enough food for everyone. Number six, please don't drive too fast. Again, we put two before adverbs. Number seven, do you have enough time to eat lunch before the meeting? And finally, number eight, James isn't tall enough to reach the top shelf. Okay, so let me know in the comment section how many you got correct out of eight and if you need another quiz to practice two or enough. Thank you guys for watching my lesson. Make sure to check out the playlist in the description below this video for more lessons on how to improve your English grammar. I will see you in my next lesson.